This is a short tutorial on how to annotate sound files in Prat using so-called text grids. Um, we start by opening up the program. And then we read in a sound file. This one is called Just Vowels UK. It's a file created by um, the late Peter Liddy Fogart, um, a very famous phonetician, uh, for his book Vowels and Consonants. Um, and if you just have a look at this, by clicking on Edit, you will see that it consists of several words. Um, I just marked the first three ones by clicking on the left mouse button, keeping it clicked, and dragging it over the three segments. Um, so here he pronounces the three words bead, bid, and bade. Bead, bid, and maybe we would like to annotate the sound file uh, in such a way that we could say, okay, this is bead, this is bid, and so on. Um, let's close the file for a second and return to the prods object window, where you simply click on annotate to text grid um, to basically specify all the parameters you need. Just delete this, this uh, just default and for example if you want to segment your sound files into words and you want to have an additional um, tier for vowels because vowels are embedded in words and maybe you want to set them off um, this is what you click and you delete that one because you don't want to have a further point tier um, which just gives you a point uh, in the sound file and um, that's only important for for example international analyses okay but here we are interested in things which are segments i.e. which have a start and an end point um, okay so we only specify words and vowels and there it is um, the text file uh, has been created and now you click on shift and can then mark sound files as well and we can have a look at what we've got now this is the same that we saw before, sound file. Uh, Here is the spectrographic analysis that we will see once we s zoom in um, into a time period fewer than 10 seconds. Um, and here we've got the two tiers we've created. Okay, let's zoom in on those first three words. Um, and you can do that either by view and then zoom to selection or using the shortcut control N. Okay, let's listen again. Okay, so the first one, left mouse click and dragging it to here is speed. And I can add something in the text group by simply clicking on a point in time in the sound file. And here I see a little circle. If I click that, I will have set a boundary. And at the end of the word, I also want a boundary. Again, click in the sound file and then you've got this bar here click on the little circle and you've got a boundary. Now between two boundaries you've created a segment by clicking once on it you will see that it is marked in yellow and if again if you listen to that you've already got the word you're looking for. Okay so now simply type in bead while this is marked in yellow and um, you will see whatever you type in up here as well and this is now called bead. Okay the next thing to do is save this <laughs> file uh, write text grid to text file or simply using control S for save. Um, the more often you work with Prad, the easier those shortcuts will uh, sound to you. Okay, we save this. I'm replacing an older file and now we've got it. Okay, um, now we can do the same thing with bid. I click at the start of it, click here to mark the start of the segment. Here's the end. I listen again that I've made the right choice. This is bid. And I type in bid. If we mark the third word here. If I then listen to it. You can clearly see this isn't bade. I've just marked the bay bit. Um, that once you've created a boundary and you click on it, you can move it to the left and to the right and then you've got paid. Okay, one further thing, um, if you want to create something um, on the second tier, because maybe you don't want to mark the full word um, or um, 
but just the, the nucleus, the power segment. Then click on bead, for example. Um, and again, we can view, zoom into selection. Okay, and there we can see this. Um, the plosive bit at the start uh, with a complete obstruction, uh, some noise component here, and also towards the end, the noise component, and clear valve formants uh, are found in this area. So we move the cursor to here, and I just move down to the second tier, click on the circle to get the start segment, uh, start of the segment, and the same at the end. And if we listen to it, we can still hear some kind of co-articulatory uh, phenomenon at the start. Um, so if you move the left boundary a bit further to here until we get steady formants. Then what you hear is the E and the market as such. And then as I said, uh, Control S will allow you to save it, overwriting an earlier um, file. And that's it. Now you've created a text grid.